welcome back. So today, I'm not gonna do a makeup video. Actually, instead, I'm going to be doing a March favorites video. So for those of you who may not know what that is, that's basically throughout the month of March or whatever month I choose, I try out products, makeup or skincare or clothing or something. And at the end, I'm basically gonna review them and tell you what I highly recommend for you. The first thing that I have is the Vasanti Brighten Up uh, Facial Scrub. Got this actually um, through the Ipsy subscription and I forgot what month that this came in. But ever since I've been using this, honestly, I feel like my, I, I'm so glad that they sent it to me. I love trying the skincare line products and it's very gentle on my skin and I have sensitive skin. <laughs> okay. I have sensitive skin, especially during the winter time, I get a lot of dry patches, so I'm kind of afraid to exfoliate. But since I've used this actually, I think it's the only exfoliating cleanser that I use. And it's there's no harsh chemicals, there's no parabens, no sulfates, no nothing, so it does not dry up my face either. Actually, this is my second one and I'm running low on it again. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull it up and tell you right now how much it is. I got it off of Amazon. The 4.23 ounce is only $34 which is not that bad and the 20 gram of this off of Amazon it's $19.99 it's a travel size so I might probably eventually get the bigger version because I think it just be a lot more sensible to just buy the bigger size instead of the smaller one anyway really recommend this and for anyone else who also got this in their ipsy bag hey tell me how you guys also like it okay so the next thing i'm continuing with the skincare line and i bought this actually i got it for free but i'm gonna buy the next one once it runs out and it's the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water now the cleansing water is actually the micellar cleansing water has actually been popping up in a lot of drugstore line makeup removers and, uh, and this has no oil whatsoever. You can see there's no separation at all. It just basically looks like water. And I'm not sure what exactly is composed of the micellar water, but um, it's not harsh. And there's no alcohol in it and it doesn't dry up on your face but it removes the makeup so easily that you know I, I feel like I'm using water on my face this one is for the uh, sensitive this is the pink one and there's a blue one now the blue one however is different because you will tell that there is gonna be a separation and that one is for removing waterproof mascara but I have not had a hard time with the waterproof mascara using this so I would just I'm just sticking with this no oil alcohol or fragrance and it does not dry up my skin because I'm gonna repeat this a lot in this video my skin during the winter time is as dry as this Sahara and I'm really glad that you know instead of using the makeup remover wipes I started I don't know, my skin started reacting to it, so I just, you know, stopped, put that aside, and I got this for free, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy the next one, so they got me hooked on it, really recommend it for those who have sensitive skin, like I do, and yeah, it's a really good product, definitely two thumbs up, I can't tell if I made the lighting worse or not. So the third one that I've been using for half a year now officially and I wanted to try this out before for like a long period of time before I said anything about it just to make sure that I was going to say the right things. It's the jojoba oil. Jojoba, jojoba. I think it's pronounced jojoba, but I like saying jojoba because a little less of a tongue twister, I guess. Anyway, so this stuff is I think one of the best natural oils, oils in general, that I've ever used. This one is from the Vitamin Shop. Um, obviously there's a lot more higher end brands than this, but this was the first one that I can get my hands on without breaking my wallet. So I think this was about $12. And for $12, honestly, I will buy 30 more of these. But after this is done, obviously, I want to try a better brand. It is the oil produced from the seed of the Simone de Sa plant, which is a shrub, which is found in Arizona, Mexico, um, California, and found in those, I guess, desert-like conditions. And this is the oil it produces. This can be used for so many things. It says here for hair, skin, and scalp, and I use it for way more than just those. <laughs> I've been using it just for the skin, and fun fact that the oil 
uh, from here is actually very closely related to the oil our skin produces. The sebum, sebum, I think I'm saying it right. The sebum that our, our skin produces. So actually, um, what I found out is that even if you have oily skin and you put this on your face, it's gonna kind of trick your face and your oil glands saying, oh hey, there's enough oil, let's stop producing oil. So, I'm not sure because I don't have oily skin, a good thing to experiment with. Another thing that this also does that I think it's really awesome is that it removes makeup. I'm very surprised on how much mascara I don't take off and either the morning after or the night before I go to bed and I'm just putting this all over my face and I'm rubbing it on my eyelashes and I see there's still black on my fingers and I'm just kind of sitting there like wow I missed a lot so this is really good but this is better when it comes to makeup remover just saying so aside from skin this is also a very good hair conditioner I have been using it for my hair it does make an improvement on my hair especially if I continuously use it my hair I'm not sure if it can be seen right now with this lighting, but I have it on. I also have the argon oil, so with the two combinations of the oil, my hair, it feels the ends are not dry at all. They kind of, they look damaged, yeah, but as far as how soft and the texture, it's very soft. It does not feel like hay, does not look like hay. If I could give five thumbs up, I would give five thumbs up to this thing. This is a very awesome thing, and I think this is, I would say this is one thing you should always have. Definitely a necessity. So moving away from the skincare line, I bought this a month, not even a month ago, and I this is my best friend. I've never loved something with a spring and two colorful ends more than my life. Basically what this is, some of you may have actually seen this, so this basically is a facial hair remover. It's so much easier than just waxing. I like waxing, but I don't. And you know, tweezing, I, just, I have to go like hair by hair by hair. And this honestly is a one, two, three thing. You just literally put it on your skin, twist away from your face, and it just takes off the hair. It's not like it's cutting the hair like scissors. It's taking the roots out, so when it grows back, it's a lot lighter, and it's not as thick. And this one, I got it off of Amazon, actually. I got it for $8. I saw one at a drugstore from Tweezerman, and it was $20. And I was considering buying it, and I thought, you know what, let me go check on Amazon, see if there's a better price. And there was. So this one is from Bella and Bear, and this came with this. It came with a cute little pair of tweezers, and also came with a traveling pouch. Um, they have their own line of brushes, they all have their own line of tools like this to help, you know, your beauty needs. And actually, they're not that expensive. I had free shipping. So honestly, I would go on Amazon if you ever need something like this because it's for $8, $9, you know, you get a heck of a good deal for it. So I recommend this product uh, to any woman, really, or any man if you want to get rid of your mustache, but highly recommend it. Finally, going on to the makeup section. And I'm going to go really quick because I don't want this video to be too long. And it is the Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light. Um, contour palette. I love it. I love it so much. I'm using it. No, I'm not, not right now, but I've been using it. And it comes with six beautiful colors. I'm still in the box. I'm, I'm saving the box. And what I like about this, um, it's a powder. It's a powder uh, contouring kit. Very nice. I love the packaging. And it's, uh, I'm a big uh, packaging person. If it catches my eye, it catches me. And what I love about this is that when you open it, it also comes with a little, little paper that tells you a step-by-step, -step, you know, how you want to contour, how you want, uh, where you want to put the colors and whatnot. And what I like about this is that, you know, when it comes to contouring for my skin color and tones, I like to find colors that are more, that are brown but have um, undertones of gray. I, for my skin tone and for tones like me, having undertones of gray is a lot better because I like it, I like to have it as a shadow rather than a bronzer, if that makes any sense. And here, actually, it does have that. There's the browns, honestly, they have, you can actually kind of see it's a very cool color, brown, 
very cool color beige and a very cool color dark brown and then whoop, and then the three colored the highlighting colors on top they're very cool um, colored as well which I've been loving and um, I really recommend it it is I think 40 something $45 around that but I mean I think it's worth it so to go with that actually I got this it's a steal let me tell you it's a steal I got it for a gift I looked at the cosmetic range that sells this and honestly for the price it's definitely a worth to look at and it's this one this is the pro fusion studio blush palette got it for Christmas and this is what it comes with it comes with six beautiful shades colors you know they range from orange to dark pink to brownish to pink pink so you have a good variety um, it's very pigmented too. You know, I was kind of skeptical because it was a lower end brand. Definitely worth the money, honestly. I think it's worth a lot more than the money, but you know what? A steal is a steal. So speaking of steals, actually, in one of my Ipsy kits, I got a Queen of the Fill tinted brow gel, and I loved it. I loved it so much until I used every last drop. I even still use the brush now. I tried to put, you know, um, the eye drops and trying to like get the formula to get wet again but it's just it's at the end anyway so for a steal i actually got the wet n wild ultimate brow mascara and when i was buying this it was between this and the rimmel one because it was the same price 4.99 but because this was a cruelty free product i just had to go with it i'm actually using it right now and uh, the consistency is very good the color it, ha it definitely fills your eyebrows with a lot of color and it, it holds them in place for some of the tinted brow gels they only they don't really hold the eyebrow hairs especially for me because i have thick eyebrows but for this definitely i would say this does its job in coloring and holding so really recommend it okay so for the last product really quick it's the Mary Lou Manizer aka the Luminizer and this is an itty bitty little trial size and I think this came from Ipsy it's from the bomb cosmetics and actually my friend she gave it to me from work because she didn't like it but I love powder highlighters so I was like yeah sure I'll take it off your hands and so honestly considering it's a small size the color makes up for that size honestly you really don't have to put a lot on your cheekbones or anywhere that you put it really happy for the product because it's such an awesome plus the packaging is adorable like who doesn't like a pin up so I'm happy for the product really sad that it's just so tiny but you know what it makes up for it okay so that was me me first <laughs> that was my first favorite videos I actually really enjoy because I like sharing things with people that I use and experiences that I've had from them from the products so I can tell you guys so please like comment and subscribe for more videos and hopefully I will be better on uploading videos I have like 10 of them on my computer already edited I just have to do voiceovers but they're just sitting there and I need to get on that but thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to do the next video Bye!